Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggy. This is going to be BSL Season 14 Hasu League Round of 32 Group E, which, you know what, I'm going to say it. I think this is my favorite grouping because you've got Dentarg, you've got Machine, you've got Jesse, uh, Starsley there. Starsley, pretty good player from what I've seen. But I've, I'm totally casting this out of order. I'm probably going to have to cast recast some of these games, mostly because the it wasn't a spoiler-free load but I uh, as far as this bracket goes. But I wanted to cast as many replays as I've got. What's kind of throwing the mix for me, or what's throwing me off, is, is it looks like in some of the other brackets, some people uploaded games that don't look like they're from Hasu League, or maybe they were from other portions of Hasu League. Anyway, it's hard to sort out what's what. But anyway, Dentarg starting the upper right-hand corner as the gray Protoss. He's awesome. He's a CPL coach, high-level player there. You have Jesse, who I think also does CPL stuff. And Jesse just has fun games. I feel like Jesse produces fun matches. Every time I've seen Jesse play, there's been something interesting going on. Looks like Jesse's going to be scouting upper left-hand corner first. This is going to be on Metaverse. A little bit larger macro-oriented map. I feel like it favors the 973 style of play, so I would not be shocked to see Jesse opt for that, whether it gets scouted or not. Dentarg, in the meantime, scouting that bottom right-hand corner. But anyway, the Twitch audience, being the awesome people that they are, they're being okay with me casting this all out of order. Hopefully, I'll figure it out for YouTube for you guys. But in the meantime, I might have some games mislabeled and what. Maybe I'll just redo it in free time if I can uh, muster it up. There are, unfortunately, other things. There's a lot of other things I want to accomplish right now. Time is one of those assets that I just wish I had an infinite. Time and energy are the two things that I think we all wish we had infinite of. But anyhow. <laughs> Probe Scout making its way bottom left-hand corner. And no offense, YouTube audience, but you guys have work to do. I love the Twitch audience. Uh, work to do. It looks like Dentarg is going to go ahead and try to... He went Forge first, so he's going to try to sneak behind and plop a pylon back here to potentially go for the cannon on what looks like... I think well, I don't think this is a 9 hatch. I think this was... Was this a 9 hatch? I think that might have been a 9 hatch. But the cannon is going to come online. Jesse doesn't look like it's scouted. And you... And not producing Zergling. So first cannon going to warp in. And this is going to put Jesse at a big disadvantage right off the bat. This first probe. Or and actually even sending in a second probe is like, oh yeah, this is just a late scout. S Jesse sees the pylon but isn't reacting. Interesting. And I just continuing with the build order. So is this going to turn into one hatch play? Or is Jesse just going to move out and drop a third hatchery somewhere out there unfortunately not even going to get the hatchery cancellation because this well maybe you can get hatchery cancellation <clears throat> now scouts it too late though no cancellation on the hatchery and dentar easily going to have that box in and probably can drop additional cannons the probe going to come off the line go ahead and assault that creep colony and with that second pylon down that's definitely going to be a cost hatchery. Yeah, it looks like just going to go ahead and try to set a second potential third. Ooh. Probes taking shots, or drones taking shots to the face as they're even spawning with this. A group of Zerglings has been produced. The hatchery not dead yet. So it's going to work on that lower pylon. If the Zerglings can sneak down and start attacking, they might be able to provide a bit of... Uh, actually, they're not even going to bother. So they're going after that probe scout instead. Natural expansion coming online. So this is going to be... Never mind. Now that Sutton Colony focus firing. So actually, flip everything I said. I didn't think that was ranged. So instead, Dentarg ends up losing two pylons and a cannon. Slows the economy down a little bit. But... Wow. I didn't know you could defend that way. So, lesson learned... Jesse calmly planning down the Sunken Colony, doing the targeting. I am being informed that there's a trick to increase the range of the Sunken slightly. Which is how you manage that. And Jesse knows that trick and executed it perfectly. So now on 3 hatch, Dentarg expended resources. So Zergs take note. Successfully defended right there. Now dropping that Hydralist then, as predicted. At least I'm feeling better in my caster calling there. But I like it. So Dentarg, yeah, economy slowed, grabbing that second gas. So looking to make movements more towards Templar play is not going to be able... Has no information to see this coming, potentially. Because this probe scout has been sitting in the main. Hasn't really gotten... Isn't getting good eyes. 
on the saturation has it making its way towards the main and jesse able to sneak two zerglings in as there wasn't a complete front door blockade so gonna see the stargate gonna see pylons so first of all get scouting information but also just gonna have those annoying zerglings along there and whoops see if we can cover this i can't show you that zergling didn't get the kill i'm trying to find the zergling that had the kill and i'm having to do this like remove the overlay i'm not sure what the hotkey is to remove the mini map I'll try to memorize that one one day but the probe scout has been wiped out looks like there is being a, a, a tech to layer behind this to be honest i feel like jesse could could have just gone for a potential hydra contain and or bus but is opting to move towards layer tech instead zergling still wandering around the base first corsair being produced i still feel like just in a okay well actually an okay position behind in the overall worker count behind in the supply count after all things are said and done so i'll have to sit back regroup the zerglings have now been taken care of plus one weapons also going to be there for dentarg so actually dentarg might be in a strong situation moving into the mid game wandering with the zealot sees the layer morphing i think dentarg also got a look at the hydralis den he's playing rather troop light on the front but it doesn't look like he's going to pay for it at all and jesse has a lot of idle drones in the midst of this zergling's trying to work on that zealot able to wipe that zealot out the corsair moving in the hydralisk out of position to help defend some of these overlords so being drawn off potentially zergling's kind of pocketing around so low economy does find this overlord in the upper left hand corner that one's certainly going to loot well maybe this hydralisk moseying in but jesse has managed to get a pretty decent comparative drone count in between all of this a s additional hatchery being planted And only a little bit of base damage on that Corsair. More Corsairs to follow. That puts Jesse in the red. A bunch of gateways. A gateway flood. Well, I assumed we were going to see maybe there was a level one weapons cancellation. As part of the follow-up. Dentark up 20 supply. Plus one weapons is going to be online in not too long. And he's going to have a lot of zealots to work with. With leg speed. In not too long. And Jesse... Really good saturation at... The main and natural finally getting the spire up mutalisks might be the saving grace here a single something calling not the greatest sim city at any location though and yeah just plopping hatcheries down i think this is going to be in an attempt to move up to six hatchery well at the at this stage five hatchery defensive play group of zerglings filtering out yeah no plus one weapons that corsair is still alive the zealots marching out to the upper left hand corner the zerglings going to intercept a stray but I don't know that there's sufficient defense here. Yeah, this isn't a huge attack force. Lake speed's still not online. Now it's kicking online. But the Zealots arriving right as Zerglings are spawning. So trying to back up. They're really not in a cohesive grouping. The Corsair working on that Overlord. But without the Zealots underneath to attack, it's not getting a lot of work done. And plenty of Zerglings are like, you know what? I don't care about what's happening in the air. I'm just going to attack you on the ground. Dark Templar Zealots grouping up to engage and try to take out this upper left-hand corner. The Zerglings re-engaging. Dentarg moving in these units kind of piecemeal, but it looks like it's going to pay off because of that plus one weapons upgrade. Dark Templar being focus fired. The Overlord still taking damage. More Zerglings being spawned. The space not heavily saturated, but this is going to be a big cost for Jesse losing these drones and very likely potentially losing both hatcheries so this hatchery looks like it's going to get taken out the second hatchery isn't going to be long for life and i don't see any movements to reinforce or defend so this is going to put jesse in an all-in situation dentark suddenly with double the supply a huge worker lead and has gotten a lot of damage done yeah just just some zerglings but this amount of zerglings is not going to be sufficient particularly with the dark templar there jesse now moving up with some hydralis this feels very very late though this might be a miss rally so the zergling spawning and the dark templar greeting them 
Welcome to the fight and goodbye. Dentarg, I think why so it looks like this is gonna be a full mutilist counter. From Jesse. There's only a single Corsair. Cannons emergency emergency cannons warping in. All of those cannons being focused down. But with this, Jesse with a huge swing, but has to defend the main. Three Sunken Colonies there, the Zealots ignoring everything, just marching right into the main. The Dark Templar is there as well, drones pulling back, trying to drone drill up the ramp. So while the Mutalisks are attacking the main, the Zealots have gotten into Jesse's main, and, are, and drones are fleeing and flying everywhere. More Mutalisks are being produced. Zerglings being produced to try to defend this. So all of a sudden, it's one base play versus two base play, potentially. The Mutalisks equalizing things. I'm not sure who to call in this one. The Mutalisks look like they're slowly going to clean up the Zealots there. An Archon's out in the field. A Dragoon, like, pretty much units everywhere to try to defend and create some anti-air. The Mules try... Uh, the Archon and Dragoon are being boxed out by their own some city, so they're only getting... A few shots that Nexus has been wiped out. That Archon able to get some big shots, though. The Corsair there. And oh, a huge size storm wiping out all sort of Mutalisks. This game is nuts. Okay, so as things cleared out, Jesse took a huge hit to the drone count. And I still saw, I heard a DT getting some kills someplace. Overlords are... In flight, there's still Corsairs that potentially can wipe them out. These Mutalisks can't engage a Corsair right now. Dentarg, still mining off a base. Has a decently sized army. Jesse, yeah, needs to regather, rebuild. Retech. Still going to lose some overlords. Actually, these overlords still moving out. Looks like Jesse is mostly focusing on redroning, which is the right call here. Still four hatcheries to work with. Nexus being rebuilt in the main. Complete reset, but Dentarg looks like he is the larger, more heavily upgraded army. And he's getting a lot of free resources. A little bit of an overkill with those Scourge. Jesse trying to take a naked mineral only. Yeah, Overlord's going to get picked off. Sunken Colony is going ahead and poking their way at this. Yeah, and both hatcheries look like they're exposed and just taking damage. Jesse trying to build a swarm of units to maybe flood this all at once to try to defend it. But the clock is ticking. Now moving! The Archon's in hold position there. The battle drone's coming off the line as well. But Dentarg holding strong. The Mutalist trying to sweep in. But they again, they did not have a lot of health. So they're very rapidly getting wiped out. The Hydra is trying to find position to re-engage. The Zealot's getting a lot, little out of control. And a big size storm hitting Overlords and Hydralisks. And it looks like Dentarg might have an overwhelming attack force to peck away at what's left. Moving in. Unfortunately, not focus firing anything, so that Sunken Colony able to get a lot of damage. More reinforcements making their way up. If Jesse can hold this, that third base is going to come online. So it might swing into an advantage situation there. The Hydra is bullying this back out. The main is back up for Dentarg, but he has not resaturated it. Trying to get Dragoon range. The Archons being quickly dispatched by the Hydralisks, who are now backing up into the Sim City, and Dentarg moving units up to re-engage this fight, but Jesse dodging out of some of these Psy Storms looks like finding room to peck away at this attack force. Still losing Overlords. Back in the red, though. If that hatchery wasn't found before, now it should have been discovered. Dentarg still with double the supply of Jesse. Jesse just trying to attack with skeleton crews of units. 
with inferior upgrades. Dentarga stayed on top of his upgrade. We've got a battle probe here. Started with a battle probe, gonna end with a battle probe. This hatchery taking damage, and I think that is gonna be it. I think Dentarg with even though he's Jesse's done a good job of dealing with these units out in the field, the upgrades are too strong, and Jesse just does not have enough bulk. Dentarg has now resaturated that main. The economy's kicking in. Another hatchery down for Jesse, and more units are marching their way across the map. The Hydralisks heroically trying to take out what they can. These Hydralisks are the last phalanx before there's going to be an unopposed Protoss army pushing in. Dentarg regrouping after backing up momentarily. <clears throat> Fantastic upgrades. And still no evolution chamber from Jesse because Jesse has not been able to afford it this entire time. The Hydralisks regrouping. Lair tech is there, at the very least. Overlord spreading out just in case some De Dark Templar. And Dentarg actually backing up. He's like, you know, I've done the damage. I don't need to win the game right here. Jesse has to come to me. So knowing that's the case, let me just take my third. You have to come to my units. And that is what's happening. Never mind. Jesse going to call GG right there. I think realizing that Dentarg was backing up and just taking some territory. Crazy match. A fun one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.